guys, it's Milani, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, draw an autumn tree. So you need a pencil, um, two types of oranges, two types of yellows, um, a brown, a red, and another red. So, first take your pencil and draw a line across your paper, but first I'm going to show you a squiggly line, like that. I'll give you a second to do it, like five seconds. Okay. Now, hold on, let me draw it first. You're just going to make it thicker. So let me show you what I mean. Like this. Make it like, you see how it does like at the end? Like, make it like a little closer to each other like that. I'll give you five seconds. Okay. Now, you have to color it in with the brown. So color it in with your brown. I'll show you after. Let me just color it in. Do it neatly because we don't want it to be like all over the place because that would be a mess. So, just color it in neatly. I'm trying to do it fast, but I just can't. It's really hard. Um, color it in. And also, you can pause the video if you need to because five seconds are not enough for everyone. So, here, like that. Five, I'll give you a five or 10 seconds, I don't know. Okay. Now, we're gonna make another branch. Let me show you where to put it. But it's gonna be a straight line, not a wiggly one. Right here, now, so it's gonna look like a Y. Like that, so do that. Okay. Now make it thicker like the last one. Curve it at the end, kind of. Like this. Good. And then color it in with your brown again. Make sure it's neat. So this is basically like the branch of the tree, but we're not gonna draw the tree, just the branch. Okay, like that. Okay, good. Now, um, forgot. Draw one right here, hold on, let me draw it. Right there, yeah, right there. And make it thicker. I'm already gonna make it thicker so I don't have to like do it again. Yeah. Right there, just make it thicker. Now color in with your brown. Okay, and you color it in. Because you're going to do another little one down here. Like that. Now color it in. Put your brown again. And now we can move on to the leaves. So you're going to be needing your um, colors for this. Autumn colors, orange, two types of yellows, and two types of reds. So we need to use those. Yes. So we don't need the pencil anymore, so we could eat that away. So now first, you can use any color you want, but first, I think you should use um your two oranges. So first I'm going to use this orange that my friend gave me. I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, like this. Right on one leaf. I mean branch. And then color it in. Make sure it's neat. Okay, this is how mommy looks. Then you could do another one. At least do like two of the same colors. So it will look good. Then color it in. Like I did on the last one. And then just do as many as you want, like as many flowers if you want to. But it has to be orange, yellow, or red. Because those are all the autumn colors. So I did my orange. I'm going to do my other type of orange. Color it in now. Do another one. Okay, we could blossom. Now I'm gonna do yellow. So first I'm gonna use my color pencil one. I'm gonna color the yellow in. Like that. That's how mine looks right now. Then you could put another yellow if you want to. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, I did my two yellows. That's fine so far. Now, I'm gonna do my other yellow. Color it in. Okay, I'm gonna do another yellow now. Color it in. Can't see, it's so light. I can't even see the yellow. Now my last color, which is red. So I'm gonna use my glitter red first, but I feel like it's not gonna be good. So I'm gonna use this red. So to color it, well not color, make another flower that's red. One, two, three, and color it in. And I am done now. But now I'm going to do my name in 3D. So let me get a pencil. It might not be the same one, but it's just going to be a pink one. Let me get it out of my art cabinet. And as you can see, I did another one. If you could see it right there on the wall. <laughs> I did like a um, cherry blossom one that time. But I'm just going to do an autumn one for you guys. I'm gonna write my name. I messed up that. Don't mind that. M I M A T H O M A S three slash twenty first slash um twenty four. Okay. Here is my finishing. Touch. So now I'm about to put it on, on the wall next to my cherry blossom one. So let me get my tape out my little tape case. But I mean my scissors case. But oh, this, this is my phone case. What is wrong? Oh, I'm so sad. This is my scissors case. Here are my scissors. But just make sure to ask a parent to help you with this. The scissors could be very sharp sometimes. And then let me get my tape out. Let 
put all my color pencils away. My cabinet where all my art goes. Okay. So now I'm gonna teach you how to do this. So you don't have to like hang it on the wall like this. I don't like it to do it like that. First just some tape out. We'll cut it of course. Then take the um two ends like this on the sticky part. Then fold this part over like that. So now the all the outside should be sticky. Then just put it on the back of your paper. Then let me go put it on my wall. <gasps> Okay, put it on my wall. Now I have two. And guys, before I um say bye, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell. Bye, y'all. Hope you have a good day and a good rest of your spring.